Good afternoon, everybody. I've just finished reading Bluettes by Maggie Nelson. It's a work of poetry. It's a book full of propositions. And at one point in the book, paintings are called propositions. So your definition of proposition is gonna be challenged by the book. Published by Wave Books. It has a nice design, 95 pages long, written 2003 to 2006, published in 2009. I like the way the book deals with translation, Andy Warhol, tragedy and heartache. There's not a stranglehold on tone. I think Maggie Nelson utters the utterable. Gertrude Stein gets a mention and some of my favorite tender buttons are quoted. I was skeptical that this book would build such a momentum, such an electrical momentum uh, toward the end, but it really did. A lot of the concepts that are introduced in stride early in the book are then buttoned up actually later in the book. There's a sense of like plot completeness to the book actually. Not the loss of a loved one to death, just the loss of a loved one, the kind of the acquisition of loss in their absence. Being a vessel for things is a, one of the minor themes of the book and a, probably an important one. There are a lot of themes. There's a lot of space to draw lines between things. I wonder if you could do a, a, a read through this that connects vi like random numbered chapters into little assemblages into little assemblages that'd be like um hopscotch this book will likely motivate you to do a lot of your own reading and um nest making and your own looking i think it's a work when i when i said earlier that it's a work of poetry i really do feel like it's a work of poetry because it's more than the sum of its parts I think it's not a, a tidy sum. I think it's a rough sum. It's like a nest. Like a nest has sturdiness, but it also has just a bunch of twigs sticking out everywhere that seem like they could scarcely be held in there, you know, by any sort of physical process. There's like birds and birds are famous for songs and a couple of great songwriters are main characters in this book, uh, middle to main characters mid to main. Since this book kind of touches on so many different writers and topics, it can feel like whenever the book loses you for any amount of time, when you're reading it for the first time like I was, it quickly gains you back by mentioning an artist that's always been enigmatic to you, such as Joseph Cornell, or by talking about a, a, a certain, um, you know, kind of concept that particularly interests you like whether the process of writing hurts or helps memory, um, which is, I think, what uh, Aristotle wrote about. The Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy Online must have contributed a lot of the knowledge about philosophy that goes into this book. In July of 1969, Blue Movie was seized by the police for obscenity and was then not screened publicly for years. When the obscenity issue faded away, one of its fuckers, Viva, suppressed the film on the grounds that she'd never signed a release for it. By 2005, Viva had apparently changed her mind and she appeared with the film at several festivals. But as I saw neither it nor her, it would be unjust to say any more on the subject. 